Anime shadows are very tricky to learn. It has different shapes. Sometimes it does not match the object. And lastly, it's just a piece of. I'm just kidding. It's just a piece of a circle. Now, let's start. I've been exploring for days how anime shadows are made and we're going to do them step by step. And by the end of this video, we're going to dive deep into how this anime scene is made with the shadow trick. First, set up your blend file. Go into the viewport shading. Add a plane. Scale it. Next, go into the render properties. Scroll down into the shadows tab. Set the cube and cascade size to both 4K resolution. And disable the soft shadows. Next, add a sun. Select this light. Go into the object data properties. Press sun. Make the strength of this into 2. Now, enable the shadow tab under it. Expand the shadow tab and set the bias to 0.001 or the lowest value. You could see we're making progress now on our shadows. Now, we're still halfway on our shadow trick one. Once you've did all that steps, the next thing we should do is to now enable the contact shadows. The goal of contact shadows is to capture small details that regular shadow mapping fail to capture. In order to see the effect of the contact shadow, simply move this cube into the z-axis a little bit, select the sun once again, and you could zoom it here, and you could see the difference. And now it is looking better and additional properties for this is to set the bias as well into the lowest value. And now we're almost done. But hey, wait. Before we go into the shadow trick 2, can you spot the mistake here? You're right. The shadows are jaggered even though we've already completed all the steps of our shadow trick one. In order to prevent this, simply click your camera, this one or this one, then select object data properties, and our goal here is to reduce the clip end value to as lowest as possible and at the same time, the whole scene is still visible. Another tip is you could just play the value of this until it looks perfect. And for me, this scene is perfect at 100 clip end value. Now as you could see the difference, it is now better. Shadow Trick 2 Now, before we continue to our Shadow Trick 2, make sure you've completed the steps on our shadow trick one because it's still important to apply those into the latter shadow tricks so as you could see here i already imported an mp4 file this mp4 file which you could get it for free in youtube just search it for example this one figureu loli dance black screen right first of all go into the mp4 to add your mp4 file go to file import then images as planes so images as planes could be also mp4 as planes next you could set your start frame here depending on what frame do you want your animation to start next go into the materials tab you could press cyclic and auto refresh next make sure the blend mode is alpha blend 
and the shadow mode is alpha clip alright then copy my node setup as you could see it is now interacting to the sun next another tip is we could remove the principal bsdf and just simply set the value into one and the saturation to one so that if we rotate the sun the mp4 plane is not affected but the shadow only lastly a piece of information from me is that you could do this in grease pencil for example you're going to render your grease pencil object in a transparent background you could do that going into the render properties go into film and check the transparent now once your grease pencil or 2d animation is done you could simply render that in an image sequence or mp4 once again then once your grease pencil image sequence is already in a mp4 format you could now go into file import and render that grease pencil in mp4 format you could now add shadows to your grease pencil you could also add your preferred background to it now this part is what we're waiting for first of all i'm going to show you how i made the landscape go into edit preferences then search for landscape next enable the add mesh and landscape once you're done press shift a go into mesh then add landscape and now you could simply add your preferred landscape style here it could be also some lakes mountains and even volcano so here i have two materials one for my anime shader and another for the outline which is the emission so first copy my material shader and add an emission next select the backface calling then set the shadow mode to none then go into the modifier add a solidify modifier then set the rim into fill enable the flip in the normals and the thickness is just a small negative value it depends on you how thick you want your outline to be next after that set the material offset into one next we're going to do the main thing now so here this is just a png file you could simply remove the background of this and it is now already transparent you don't need to do anything much else all you need to do is to search for background remover in google now once you already have the background removed of the png file you simply import it once again and import as plain and there you go you already have this node setup so in order to make the shadows simply duplicate this so let's go in this view now once you duplicate this we already have two planes right in this object first and simply copy my node setup if you want to change the color of this but what's important here is to go into this material properties and set it into alpha blend and the shadow to none right and next for the duplicated one for the shadow only go into the material properties once again and now finally here's the secret set the blend mode into alpha clip and set the shadow mode into alpha hash make sure the clip threshold is one and there we go we already achieved the three anime shadow tricks that the anime studios are not telling us 